It looks like model context protocol is getting the attention it needs. All over my X timeline as well as my private DMs, I keep seeing a lot of people trying to get into MCP, but they're either not knowing what the true potential is of it or don't know how to get started. To give some context, late last year, Anthropic had released this insane open source repo called MCP, which stands for Model Context Protocol. It's a new standard for connecting AI assistants to data sources like content repositories or business tools and development environments. But in simple terms, think of it as a tool or a plugin that your AI can use to streamline access to essentials. To showcase what you can do with an MCP, just take a look at this plugin by the 21st dev. It's a plugin by Sarah Firm Cloud. And essentially, this is an MCP that taps into a powerful component library that makes it easy to source and customize exactly what you need for building a front end. In this case, this MCP is going to connect the AI with real time data. And this plugin takes it further by streamlining front end development. Here is another MCP server. And it's something that allows Claude AI to directly communicate with Blender, which is a 3D design tool. It's by using this integration to simply give Claude a prompt, like creating a futuristic city skyline, and the 3D scene will be generated in Blender for you. In this case, the MCP server is connecting Claude with Blender, and it's going to allow the AI to send in commands as well as receive data. Now, I hope those demos give you a clear idea. Obviously, if you don't, we're going to be exploring it further into the video. But essentially, it's a great, useful tool because it's making connecting AI systems to data sources like files, apps, and databases simple and standard. Instead of going on and building custom links for every single tool, MCP servers act like a universal plug. It's going to save time and effort. You should use it to streamline AI development, boost efficiency, as well as making your AI smarter with better access to data, all while keeping things secure and scalable. And today, what we're going to be doing is showcasing how you can use MCP servers with different types of AI agents like Klein, Windsurf, as well as Cursor. But before we get started with today's video, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, CodeGate. This is your ultimate security shield for AI coding assistance as well as agentic frameworks. As this is something that safeguards your code, manages AI tools with ease, and never worry about leaking secrets again. And the best part is, it's completely open source. Whether you're working with multiple models or managing sensitive data, CodeGate centralizes and secures all your AI interactions. From workspace management to detecting risks in real time, CodeGate is something that will ensure your development stays secure and efficient. Get started in seconds with just a simple Docker command where you can protect your AI-powered coding assistance with CodeGate because your code deserves to be safe. Visit CodeGate by Stacklock, secure, simplify, and supercharge your development with links in the description below. We're going to first get started and showcase how you can set this up with Windsurf, then Cursor, and then lastly, Klein, which is the best way possible to use MCP servers. You can go over to uh, Windsurf if you're going to be using it through Windsurf, go over to the settings tab, and you can head over to the Cascade settings where you can go and start up uh, different model context protocol servers. You can either use the templates that they have provided, or you can use the raw config file to edit your MCP servers. If you're a beginner coder, this might be a little difficult to set this up, but they made it pretty easy to use this where you can use different templates that haven't already created. But I'll tell you right now, there's not as many templates that are available like you would see with many of the other agents that are out there like Cursor or even Klein. There's a handful of different servers, templates like GitHub's, as well as, as something like Postgres. Now, easy way to go along with MCP servers within Windsurf, as well as Cursor, is just simply using their chat interface to have it create the MCP server for you. Both of these IDEs have an agentic mode, which will let you have the AI agents create the different MCP servers that you want based off of the prompt that you give it. But the main reason why I wanted to create today's video is because of Klein and RuClein or RuCode. For the people who do not know what Klein or RuCode is, it's essentially an autonomous AI agent. I would rather use Klein over RuCode because it's a little bit better with MCP servers because they have their very own marketplace. 
This is a marketplace where you can already access ready-made templates to different servers that have been already created. You don't need to go through the hassle like you would with uh, Windsurf or even Cursor to configure all these MCP servers because there's already ready-made templates in different categories that you can access from browser automation all the way to databases and you can see that there's so many different categories that you can access of different servers. These are a couple of the installed ones that I have, but today I'm going to be showcasing the best ones that you should use, how you can use it, and how you can even create your own with Klein. And if you do not have Klein, you can easily install it completely for free off of Wins or VS Code's marketplace. You can simply install this completely for free without even paying for the app. And what's also cool is that you can actually access and create MCP servers completely for free by going over to the settings tab, going over to the API provider and selecting the, the VS Code LM API, which will let you use the Copilot API key completely for free without you even paying for it. There's a limit to this, a monthly limit, so just keep that in mind. But you can go ahead and have it create any sort of MCP server. Say, for example, we want to create an MCP server to extract that documentation from Node.js. It'll go ahead and then install the necessary uh, packages that are essential to run this server and you can see that it is working on creating it. This is essentially an MCP server that will help me retrieve file contents or metadata from the node.js documentation because a large language model is not going to always stay up to date but in this case it's going to connect the data sources to my AI so that it could reference node.js. So it looks like it has created the MCP server for this and you can see that you can then actually access it. To do that, you can go over to the MCP servers, go over to installed, and then you can browse through the node.js one that it had just created. This is something that it built, such as getting the module docs, as well as searching the docs. So it created two separate tools. And what we can do now is go over to Klein, go over, go back into that chat and just say, can you show me the contents of the FS module documentation? And it will actually use your MCP server that it had created to retrieve the correct contents from it. So you can see that it is getting the module docs for you and it is working on providing you the context of what you had requested and queried. And this was all thanks to the tool that we developed, which has the ability to search and provide the correct modules for you. So there you go. It has provided the correct documentation based off the contents I was looking for. Here is another useful MCP server, and that is the one that I just recently installed through the marketplace. And this is one that will help me with browser automation. It's Puppeteer. And this is where I can have it take screenshots for me and have it so that it could do real browser automations in real time for me. And what's crazy is that I had sent in a prompt to Puppeteer, to utilize the MCP server for it, and I told it to find the most popular video in the last seven days on my channel. And it used the tool and it scraped it and showed me that the Manus video is the most popular one. 75k views in the last two days. This is something that I definitely recommend that you watch. But it's just insane that I was able to create this MCP server within just a few minutes. And it was able to retrieve contents like this. And just think about it. You can direct it to do something even more intricate where it can scrape multiple pages and give you logs of it. Now another MCP server that might be really helpful for you is Supabase. This is because you can use the MCP server of the Supabase protocol so that you can have database connection that is simple and it'll basically prompt natural conversations within Klein. You don't need complex queries. You can just ask your AI to add, generate reports, even analyze your database from Supabase. You can even have it create full stack apps easily as this integration helps you work with your database as well as odd system. But that's basically a gist of model context protocol. Huge props to the Anthropic team for making this open source as well as the client team for developing this marketplace so that you can use these add-ons and plugins to enhance your workflows. I definitely recommend that you use these because it will definitely help you gain access and give better context to your AI to utilize these tools and execute your tasks uh, in a more efficient and productive manner. So I'll leave all these links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter, follow me on the Patreon, as well as my Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe 
turn the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly soon. Peace out, fellas.